the previous videos, we have discussed about the purpose of the initial sizing. It is to provide a guide for us to propose a suitable sections as the pre-stressed concrete member. The process is basically involve the derivations of the equations for us to determine the minimum required Z top and Z bottom as the section modulus. Then we can provide any sections having the section modulus greater than the minimum requirement as determined from the initial sizing. There are various types of beam cross sections that can be used, which include the rectangular beam, symmetrical I-beam, T-beam, inverted T-beam, and also hollow box bin. There can be many other forms of the shapes. Now we're going to look into some concept of selecting the appropriate shapes for the efficiency of the flexural resistance of the member. In general, for short span, which the dead load is small, rectangular members will be economical as it involves minimum forming costs. The rectangular sections is easier to fabricate, especially in terms of the shear reinforcement. The casting of the rectangular sections is also simpler, as adequate spacing is provided for pouring and compacting the concrete. However, for the median and long span, the sections with flank will be more efficient. This can adjust the centroid in order to maximize its lever arm for flexural resistance. In short, various types of the beam has their own characteristics and applications. This table shows the typical span over depth ratio of the pre-stressed member. For example, for I-beam or single T-beam, the span to depth ratio is 24 to 36. The range here shows the economical solutions of different types of the pre-stressed members. While proposing the dimensions of the shapes, you will need to consider for other considerations. For example, the minimum cover of the member based on the requirement of SCI code. The minimum cover of concrete under different circumstances are listed here. You may also refer to the Euro code in order to determine the nominal cover of the concrete. The exposure class of the member will also determine the minimum cover of the member. Other than that, there is also considerations of the reinforcement bar size being used in the member. It is noted that the pre-stressing member in I or T shapes or in the box shapes are basically meant to maximize its second moment of inertia in resisting the flexural moment. The purpose is to maximize the lever arm so that the performance of the sections can be maximized. As a result of this, there is a tendency to have the minimum thickness for the web as possible. Special attention needs to be given to the allowable space in between the reinforcements. It is so that the concrete can be properly compacted within the sections during casting.